Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the design and simulation of common mode filter to reject the common mode noises from the system. So we will understand how you're going to design the common mode single stage common mode filter and the dual stage or two stage common mode filter. Registration is open for hardware design online training course and a new batch registration is open uh, starting from February to May 25. The form link is given in the description. You can also contact via email on this the email given here and the WhatsApp number as well. So in the last video we saw about the design and simulation of the differential mode filter. So in this video, we are going to understand about the design and simulation of common mode filter. So if you look at the single stage common mode filter in the single stage, the equivalent impedance of LISN is 25R. Then we have the common mode choke here. This is the common mode choke. And if you look at now after the common mode choke, we have the by cap one and by cap two. And here, what is my excitation noise excitation are the source excitation in this case my source excitation is the ac current okay ac current and if you look at the second stage common mode filter so in the second stage common mode filter we will have again this 25 r the impedance is going to be 25 r uh, 25 r and then we have the common mode choke and then y cap here if you look at two y caps again we have the common mode choke and two y caps again and then excitation is again the ac current excitation is ac current you can look at the value of these components for for single stage common mode choke is 3.3 .3 milli henry and the y cap value is 4.7 nanofarad for dual stage or two stage the common mode choke value is 1 milli henry and the y cap value is 2.2 nanofarad okay so now i'm gonna run the simulation and i'll show you the ac response or the frequency response of common mode filter how it looks like in the frequency domain so before i run the simulation this these circuits the single stage and two stage common mode filter are designed to have the damping frequency at 300 kilohertz so at 300 kilohertz let's say the common mode attenuation is going to be 40 db and uh, for two stage common mode filter at 300 kilohertz the attenuation is going to be 80 db so the single stage attenuation is 40 db at 300 kilohertz and uh, two stage the common mode attenuation is going to be 80 dB at 300 kilohertz. Okay, so let us run the simulation and let us see the, the waveform, the impact. So I'm going to run the simulation here. Let's run the simulation and uh, let's divide into two part maybe. So uh, this is my first. This is single stage and this is dual stage. Okay so the first one is single stage so this is going to be in blue and the second stage is two stage this is going to be in red i'm gonna delete the phase plot so don't plot phase i'm gonna delete it let's delete it and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna since is impedance one divided by current is going to give me impedance here also one divided by current is going to give me the impedance okay how it looks like now your blue traces the response of single stage common mode filter and the red trace is the response of two stage common mode filter and uh, if i look at now at 300 kilohertz let, let's look at the 300 kilohertz this is the let me roll out the cursor to find out the frequency of 300 kilohertz and at 300 kilohertz this is 300 kilohertz and if i look at the db response 
it is going to be 42.5 dB. So at 300 kilohertz for single stage, the attenuation or damping response, the damping factor is 42.5 dB. So this is at 300 kilohertz, this is 42.5 dB. And if I roll out for two stage filter and uh, where is my 300 kilohertz? In 300 kilohertz for the two stage filter, the response is going to be at 300 kilohertz. This is 300 kilohertz and the response is 87.1. So I, I see the damping response for the two stage filter is 87.1 and for single stage filter it is 42.1 dB. So the calculated value for single stage was 40 dB. The calculated value for two stage filter was here 40 dB and 80 dB while we are getting here 42 dB and 80, uh, 87 dB. In the single stage filter you can also see the response is flattening down uh, uh, at this point at this frequency if you look at here it is we have the curve here which is going down and it now becomes stable at 40 around 55 db while in two stages we have the hard response and it takes some time to flat down the curve okay that is how you can see the response of the common mode for most of most of the parts here you can find in the lt spice library in case if you don't find the parts like in case if you don't find the common mode choke and the Y capacitor in your LT Spice library, you can go and download the LT Spice model files from Wurth Electronic Database. And then after downloading the files from the Wurth Electronic, you can you can place the components, the library in your local folder in within the LT spice you can integrate it and you have to then restart your LT spice you have to restart again your LT spice then only you will see these components in my case these components were not in my LT spice library database then I went to the Wurth electronic I downloaded from there and then I placed in I integrated this in my LT spice library so you can also do the same because most of the time you won't find these parts especially the common mode choke and the y cap you won't find in your database okay you won't find your lt spice database so go and download and make sure to use the proper values to see the response like me otherwise you won't see the response okay so i would also like to thank you the Wurth Electronics because they have the they have done the great job. They have integrated the common mode choke and the Y caps within the LT spice so that we can use those parts and we can simulate and we can see the behavior, right? So very thank you very much. Thank you very much, Wurth Electronics. So guys, hope you understood uh, simulating about the common mode filter in LT spice. If you have any further question. Feel free to ask me in comment section. Thanks for watching this video.